your lab technician here, Chris Lang Cancer. Welcome to my channel. So today's activity is about back titration. And the objective of this activity is to determine the calcium carbonate content in an eggshell. I have here with me an uncooked eggshell. And we are going to determine the calcium carbonate in this eggshell. And I'm not going to perform this practical. As you can see right next to me is my colleague. He's called Isaac. So he is going to take us through today's practical. So I will hand over to him. Hi. Thank you. The title for today's activity is back titration, as my senior colleague rightly said. Back titration is a titration method used to determine the concentration of an analyte by reacting it with a known amount of excess reagent. Back titration is also known as indirect titration. Now, one may ask, when will we use back titration in acid-based titration? Back titration procedures are applied in acid-based titrations where the analyte is volatile. Example is ammonia or is an insoluble salt, such as calcium carbonate or lithium carbonate. It is also applied in, acid, in weak acid and weak base reactions. It is also used when the reaction under study takes place or proceeds at a very slow rate. In a, in a titration whereby a suitable indicator method is not available, back titration procedures can be employed. The application of back titration. Back titration procedure using mercury 2 as a titrant against excess EDTA and silver amalgam electrode has been applied with great success in the analysis of brasses and bronze and their special varieties like the aluminum bronzes and brass. Now, let's quickly take us through through the procedure for today's activity. Okay, thank you. Right. So you need 0.6 grams of the eggshell. I've already um, grounded it into powder. So I'm going to weigh 0.6 grams of the eggshell. And my colleague is going to pipette 25 mil of one molar ACL. You are going to react the ACL with the um, calcium carbonate content in the shell. So I'm going to do the weighing and Mr. Pia will pipette the acid for us. I'm done weighing, so Mr. Apia is going to add the acid to the eggshell. And let's see what will happen. Yes, a gas is being produced. As we can see, a gas is being produced. You can see some bubbles coming out as the acid is reacting with the shell. Yes. So the principle behind back titration is that we react an analyte with excess reagent and in this case our analyte is the eggshell and the reagent is the ACL so we have to react these two but the ACL is supposed to be in excess that is the idea because we don't know the exact amount of calcium carbonate content in the shell so because we don't know the exact amount we have to react it with excess HCl so as you can see, CO2 is being produced. That is why we can see this foamy thing on, on the surface. Yes, that is it. So from here, our next step, we are to heat this solution for about five minutes in the water bath. So that's what we'll be doing. We are going to heat it and see what will happen, if more CO2 will be produced or not. 
So we will leave and go and heat it in the water bath. Okay, so we are doing the heating. We are to heat it for five minutes. Yes. So that's what we are doing. So I can see bubbles on the surface of the solution. So still CO2 is still being produced. After heating, we have to allow it to cool before we move to the next step. It's almost five minutes. So very soon I will take it from the water bath and allow it to cool before we proceed. Okay, so our five minutes is up. So I'll quickly take, bring it out. Leave it here and allow it to cool for some time. Yes, so we have to patiently wait for it to cool before we proceed. So we have allowed it to cool. So now Ike is going to add three drops of phenolphthalein indicator to it. Okay, so we are going to titrate it against one molar sodium hydroxide. So Ike is going to do that. Because ACL is a strong acid, we need a strong base to titrate it, so we are using sodium hydroxide. After adding our phenolphthalein, you would realize that our resulting mixture is still colorless. Now, let's titrate to see our end point. So as you gradually release the base into your conical flux, you observe the resulting mixture closely. We ought to observe it. You could see traces of a pink color. Now we've arrived at our end point. So the color change is from colorless to pink. So back titration, you react an analyte with excess reagents. And here, as I said earlier, the analyte is the eggshell, and our reagent we use is the ACL. Because we don't know the exact amount of carbonate content in the eggshell, we have to react it with ACL in excess. So in excess, it means that at least all the calcium carbonate in the eggshell will be reacted. That is why we react it with um, excess ACL. So that is all about back titration. And unfortunately, we have come to the end of today's activity. Please, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any question on WASI or NOVDEC about back titration and you are confused, you don't know how to go about it, you can tell me in the comment section and I'll be glad to solve all your problems related to back titration. I want to thank my colleague here, Isaac, for taking us through today's practical and please subscri subscribe to my channel share with your friends comment if 
If you see anything that you want me to talk about, please prompt me and I will be glad to do that. I will see you in my next video. Please take care of yourself and it's bye-bye for now. Bye.